Hello, and welcome to this week's episode of the Best Today podcast. I am your host, Shante Grant, and today we're going to talk about one of my favorite words, and that is consistency. Um, consistency is no uh, new topic to me. I have been teaching it and living it for a very long time, and one of the things that I um, am skilled at doing is helping to make consistency applicable to you. Helping you to decomplicate it. That's not a word, I don't think. Um, Helping to uncomplicate it. How about that? Helping you to uncomplicate consistency. Helping you to see how um, it is available to you. Helping you to see why it is important, which is what we're going to talk about today. I'm going to give you four reasons to strengthen your consistency muscle, wherever that muscle might be, right? Maybe your consistency muscle is, you know, bicep, what is this? Bench curling, bench curling. Is that, is that a word? Um, mm. <laughs> What's the word? You can't see me. I'm like doing a bicep curl, bicep curling, right? One pounds, two pounds. Maybe your consistency, mu- consistency muscle is bicep curling 50 pounds or more, but wherever it is, I want to talk to you about why it is so important to strengthen. Again, like I said, when we're talking about living an intentional life, living intentionally, consistency is a key component to that. Okay. And I understand some people will say, oh, it's, I'm really consistent here, but I struggle with consistency here, or it's easier for me to be consistent in this place, but not this place. A lot of times what I hear most often is it's easier to be consistent in my professional life with work than it is in my personal life. And maybe the it's vice versa for you, or maybe you're like, child, both of them, just hard, right? Wherever you fall, I want to tell you and encourage you really um, with these four reasons to give consistency a consistent shot and chance. And then also invite you to join us in the month of May, if you're listening in real time for a live consistency challenge. Now, what do I mean by live consistency challenge? That means in real time, we are all working through this challenge together. Um, That means you're going to have live accountability Every single week, you're going to get an email to submit your update on how it's work going, how things are going for the challenge. You're going to define what it is that you're going to be consistent with. We're going to have a kickoff call. And then at the end, we're going to have another celebration call to hand out some prizes and awards and really celebrate everyone for participating and giving this a chance, right? So... I want you to join us for the Consistency Challenge. Let me go in and tell you how to sign up right now. It is free to you. You go to besttoday.co forward slash consistency. Besttoday.co forward slash consistency, which we'll also link to in the show notes to today's episode. Um, So which can be found at besttoday.co forward slash 111 because it's episode 111. Okay. Besttoday.co forward slash consistency challenge. Join me. Let's work through this. But first, let's talk about why you might even want to care about consistency. I've got four short reasons, then I'm going to let you go sign up and then think about what it is you want to work on um, to begin this consistency challenge, okay? So number one, these are in no, no specific order, but number one, one reason, right, to strengthen your consistency muscle is because it can start with as little as 60 seconds of your time. It does not require when you are starting or when you're starting over a massive amount of time and really not even a massive amount of effort, which is nice. Now, over time, yes, effort, because, but guess what? I always say you are worth the effort it takes to live an intentional life. But number one, I want you to understand that consistency can start as little as 60 seconds. What is something that you can do consistently for 60 seconds. Maybe it's not the most important thing right now. It's like, oh, I want to really get better at X, Y, or Z. Okay, that's great. But maybe X, Y, and Z require a level of consistency that you haven't yet obtained or acquired. So rather than thinking about, oh, if I can't start with this, these bigger things I want to do, I just am not going to start. Or I'm going to keep trying to start and then starting over and stopping and, you know, stop that. Start small. How many times have I said that? I think I have at least four episodes, maybe 40 episodes talking about the power of small. Okay. 60 seconds. We're not doing it necessarily for the thing that you're going to do in the 60 seconds. It's to build the muscle. That's an important thing for you to know. Also, starting small isn't always about the thing you're doing. It's about the skill you are honing and strengthening in doing. So 
for instance, let's say you say, I'm going to take 60 seconds every day and sit in silence and just take a deep breath and breathe. 60 seconds every day at the same time. Let's say the same time, right? I'm going to set a timer for 60 seconds and I'm just going to pause and breathe. Now I can tell you that's actually probably very good. Actually, I think it was just last week we talked about the importance of pausing to check in with yourself. But, you know, I remember in the Best Today community, someone, I think it was uh, Teresa, someone, um, so she was going to do a plank for 60 seconds every single day. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something, right? <laughs> Planking for any extended period of time is is challenging. But even I, I imagine, it, and actually a lot of people said they ended up, they were going to do that as well. But I'm going to tell you, planking for 60 seconds, yes, now that's going to have some great results in your core, which is going to have some great results in your strength and your back health and your body's health and your ability to just live life, picking things up, you know, walking up and down stairs, living life. But it's also building something else. It's not always just about the thing, right? It's, okay, now that I've seen that I can do this, what else, what else can I strengthen? What else, what other benefits am I seeing? And I'm actually getting into another number. So I'm going to get myself back focused. Um, But the first reason why I want you to strengthen your consistency muscle, consistency muscle is because I want you to understand that it can start really, really small, as little as 60 seconds. Finding the thing, a thing that you can do consistently for 31 days, 31 days, I'm going to do this thing for X amount of time. If you need to start really, really small, I'm going to say 60 seconds, one minute, right? And watching what happens, because what it's doing is it's strengthening your muscle. I just have to keep repeating that so that you can understand what's happening. It's not necessarily about the thing. It's about what the thing is doing in you, in your mind, in your heart, in your body. Okay, which leads me to number two. The second reason to strengthen your consistency muscle is it builds your self-confidence and your trustworthiness. So the self-confidence, that's the internal part, right? This is what's happening between you and you. And the trustworthiness, this is what's happening externally, how other people are relating to you. Let's talk about both of those. It builds self-confidence because when you become consistent, whether it's generally as a person or at certain things, you begin to get a confidence, not only in your ability to do that thing, but also in your ability to do the things you say you will do, to show up. And you begin to exude that self-confidence outwardly in the places where you are and people see your consistency, which makes you more trustworthy. There's a reason why a lot of the loyal people in our audience are loyal. It's because this company, me as a founder, consistent, When I think about the people in my life who I know they can trust me, why? Well, integrity is definitely one. But guess what? I'm consistent with my integrity. My integrity isn't "Mm, today is a yes, tomorrow is a no. Well, first of all, that in itself would not be integrity. But right, it's it builds trustworthiness for other people and their relations to you. But it builds your self confidence. So if you're a person who says, "Oh, I wish I was more confident. I want to be more confident," I'm gonna look at you and say, "How's your consistency?" Can you share a few things with me that you consistently do? Can you share some things that that some areas in your life where you are consistent, where you are reliable to yourself? Because that's the thing, right? Your consistency is you are being relied uh, uh, reliable to you. Because guess what? We I always talk about this relationship between you and you. The relationship you have with yourself is of great importance. It is your most important human relationship, the one between you and you right? Because that's the one that you have the most control over also, right? Lifelong control over it as long as you're healthy and well, right? So why not want to strengthen that, right? At Best Today, we exist to help women just like you be your best one today at a time. So each week on the podcast, we are going to highlight your stories and your voices. So let's see what's in the inbox today. Today, we have a five-star review of our Not Waiting for January class, and it reads, very motivational. This class calls out the tendencies we have that lead us to procrastination and perfectionism. Shante identifies the things we do or tell ourselves that allow us to put things off or reduce our consistency. She explains how to relabel them and the action steps to take the right kind of action to be productive 
now, not later. Thank you so much for this five-star review and for sharing your experience in the not waiting for January. Just like the class says, this class is teaching you how to stop waiting for January or the beginning of a year or any quote unquote perfect time to get started with the things you know you want to do in and for your life. Come and learn the barriers that have likely been blocking you to this point and also how to best strengthen your consistency muscle and get started with optimizing your time. You can get the replay right now. The great thing is you can hit pause, take notes, and there's a box that we have so that you can submit questions to us in real time and we will answer you. So go to notwaitingforjanuary.com. You will get immediate access to this replay once you place your order. So go right now. You're about one to two minutes away from getting started with Not Waiting for January, the class replay by going to notwaitingforjanuary.com. So if you have ever said, I really want to be more confident. I really wish I could trust myself more. Ding, ding, ding. Consistency. There's a reason to strengthen that consistency muscle, okay? Number three, you learn how to appreciate the journey and the process and you stop glorifying in results, which is a vital lesson, essential lesson to learn in living intentionally and really all around living a life with peace of mind and contentment is understanding that the journey, right, is the best part. I say this so often. The journey is where all the change and the good things are happening. Yes, it's also where the bumpy and the clunky and the mistakes and the oops and the ah and the oops and the uh oh, oh, I didn't see that. Oh, I didn't know that. Ooh, ah, dropped the ball on that. Didn't meet that thing. Ooh, ow. Ooh, that hurts. Ooh, this is sad. Ooh, this is hard. Ooh, a rainy day. Ooh, a stormy day. Ooh, a hard stormy day. Oh, a great day. Oh, this is great. This is good. Oh, this is hard. You know, all of that journey. That's the good stuff. Crossing the finish line, yay, but the only reason you did is because of who you became in the journey. And consistency helps you with that because when you start something at the beginning of being consistent, right, you're not getting the same type of results that you're you're gonna get 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 days out. You have to allow yourself to be willing to be, be in the process, right? Instead of saying, oh, I'll be consistent once I think I can actually do it forever. Well, I mean, that, how tell me again what that's like someone who's never run saying oh I'll start running once I know I can start and immediately run a marathon um boo never in the history of life has anyone just literally said I'm just gonna Forrest Gump it and I just realized does everyone here know who that is you know let's just say (laughs) on the off the on, on the off chance that you don't basically it it takes process, right? And the process is cons- is built on consistency. And so that's a really beautiful side effect of your consistency is it's teaching you that vital lesson, which leads me to fourth. And really, I, I would say one of the most important because it's almost all encompassing, all encompassing. I cannot talk today. All encompassing. There we go. <laughs> is that consistency has a beautiful ripple effect over time in areas of your life, in all areas of your life, it it begins to pour over. And so I'm talking about personally and professionally, right? It overflows into other areas of your life. It's like your consistency is making deposits, like daily or frequent deposits into your mind, into your body. And it all adds up over time. And the ROI, like the, um, um, what's the word? Oh man. Um, the compound interest, there we go. Um, the compound interest on that ripple effect is better than whatever is the best, like to date compound interest in real life. Like whatever that, like, wow, it's never been this good. Um, <laughs> I'm laughing at myself with my analogies that come to my head because this is not in notes or anything. But it's it's the best compounding of interest, right? With the consistency. And it pours over into so many other areas of your life. Yes, you were consistent over here, but I see it all the time. And not only in my own life, but in the lives of the thousands that I get to work with every single year. It's like, oh man. And then I realized, oh, I could probably do this. And I became more consistent over here. And I became more consistent with my health. And I became more consistent at, you know, being a person to do what I say I'm going to do. I became consistent with planning my days, previewing my weeks, previewing my months. Then I realized, oh, now I know what's going on. I have more time to do this. Then I became consistent in actually making sure I was eating properly and then moving my body. I became consistent over here. And it's just this beautiful. And then people at work noticed that I was X, Y, and Z. And then I got offered this promotion. Then I took the promotion. I was able to do this. And it's, it's a beautiful ripple effect 
into so many other areas of your life. And so if you have really told yourself, I, I just really want to be more consistent at insert whatever it is, because the, what can be felt there, it's limitless, right? I want to encourage you that it's, yes, it's worth the effort. It's worth it. And to remember, the first thing was, we can, we can start low bar, low effort, right? If you can just commit to 31 days of doing something for 60 seconds, for one minute, two minutes, three minutes, four minutes, five minutes, consistently, that's why I say start small, start small, because I don't want you to start small and then you get to 26 days and stop. I want 31 full days, right? And that's what we're going to do in the consistency challenge in the month of May. We're going to do 31 consistent days. We're going to talk about all the details over um, our live call, which will be recorded. It'll be in your inbox. You'll get details in your email. So if you'd like to sign up, you can go to besttoday.co forward slash consistency. But let me invite you today to consider consistency for your life. It is available to you. It has so many benefits. I just gave you four right now. It can start small. It helps to build your self-confidence and your trustworthiness. It teaches you how to appreciate the journey and the process so you can stop glorifying end results. And it has a beautiful ripple effects in multiple areas of your life. So are you willing to give consistency a try or to strengthen where you are? Because maybe you are consistent in some places. Um, let me know. I want to hear from you. Join the challenge. Respond to the email that you're going to get once you join the challenge. And let me know um, if you're listening to this episode way after the month of May 2023, we're going to have something for you as well. So you can go to the show notes of this episode and whatever we've created for you will be there in the show notes, besttoday.co for slash one one one. And that's it, my friends. I'm going to get let you go and go to besttoday.co forward slash consistency. Join the challenge. I'll see you there. Um, and until then, thank you for being present with me for today's episode of the Best Today podcast. Until we meet again, please remember that you are capable and worthy of being your best one today at a time and that you have everything you need. You have everything you need right where you are. Even if you think I, I, it is, I have yet to be able to be um, consistent, you have within you the desire because you're still listening to me talk right now. You have what you need to get to the next step, to get everything you want. I say this at the end of every episode and here I am talking more again, but I say this at the end of every episode because I mean it. You have everything you need to have everything that you want. So go on and shout it out as you live it out. This is what my best today looks like. And by the way, we've got shirts and mugs that say that. So if you want to be encouraged, come on over to besttoday.co and get your cup or mug um, right now to be encouraged. Okay, we'll link them in the show notes as well. I'll talk to you again real soon. If you enjoyed this week's episode of the Best Today podcast, you are going to love the Best Today guide. Our Better Than a Planner guide teaches you how to get clear on what you want identify your self-destructive habits and behaviors, and intentionally create space to prioritize yourself every single day. Don't go the journey to being your best one today at a time without the Best Today Guide. See inside its pages and order yours today at besttodayguide.com. Even better, when you order the Best Today Guide, we gift you with your first month free inside of the Best Today membership. So what are you waiting for? We're giving you everything you need to trade busy for intention. Go to besttodayguide.com and order yours today and join thousands of women across the globe proclaiming each day, this is what my best today looks like.